Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today we're going to be taking a look at PageFly, which is a Shopify page builder for landing pages, product pages, you name it. That's what we're going to be taking a look at doing a PageFly review and tutorial, taking a deep dive at PageFly, how you can get started with PageFly, building out your own custom landing pages, product pages, you name it. That's what we're going to be diving in here in today's video. And if you want to get signed up with PageFly and follow along, feel free to check out that first link down in the description box below that will take you right over here to the Shopify app store for PageFly. That's brenbaleski.com forward slash PageFly, that first link down in the description box below. And if you don't already have a Shopify store, uh, you can also go ahead and check out brenbaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to your Shopify 14 day free trial where you can get set up with Shopify. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the review and tutorial for PageFly. So this is first and foremost, a Shopify app. It is a Shopify app that you can install into your Shopify store. We're going to be diving into the back end in just a little bit, but I did want to do a quick overview of the landing page builder. So basically what a landing page builder is in the first place is it gives you additional and more flexible customization when it comes to building out your online store and your website for customizing specific sections, whether it be within your landing pages or product pages, your home collection pages. Basically it just gives you a lot more flexibility and customization in order to make the website look the way that you want it. We'll be taking a look at a few specific examples. Now, PageFly does also have some templates uh, as well, and they probably really are the most popular Shopify uh, page builder that is out there on the market today. So you're definitely in good hands getting set up with PageFly. Now, taking a look at it here, of course, you can make your pages convert. Another thing that PageFly also um, prize themselves on is additionally helping you with improving your store's conversion rates. So if you have an online store already, maybe if you're a little bit more established, you know, you want to improve your conversion rate, or even if you're a brand new beginner, improving your conversion rate is always something that is on your mind as an e-commerce store owner. So that's what, uh, one thing that PageFly does also focus on is conversion orientation oriented tools to help you uh, building out with your online store. Now, taking a look at some of the screenshots they have here listed on their app page. Of course, you know, you can build out your first sections and page in no time. They have a variety of different templates. Uh, we'll also be taking a look at the pricing for PageFly. Of course, that is subject to change as of the making of today's video. That is what it looks like now, but just uh, right here within the different pre-made sections. So you do have a free pre-made sections that you can easily add to your store. You have the templates and all the different page types are supported within Shopify. So you can easily customize your pages, add like countdown timers, upsells, things that go beyond just the, to, tr the more traditional things that you could expect with a Shopify store. You can go above and beyond those regular types of um, page elements and go above and beyond traditional page elements with something like PageFly. So, and of course it is free to get started with on their free plan. They do have additional paid plans as well. Uh, but yes, so that is what it looks like here. As you can see here, you know, work with your favorite themes and apps. It's compatible with all themes, uh, a variety of different app integrations as well. Uh, you can also go creative and really customize everything however you want. They do also have um, additional functionality and support for custom HTML, Liquid, CSS, J JavaScript customization. If you're familiar with additional coding languages, you can also customize it in that way. Uh, you do have special like, sticky sections and special animations. Uh, and it's built for growth as well within your analytics. Uh, PageFly also adds additional analytics, which we'll take a look at as far as, as you can see here in this example, uh, you can track the additional conversion optimizations and revenue uh, based on the specific pages that you are testing and utilizing within PageFly's landing page builder, whether it be for product pages uh, more specifically or just optimizing your, your store's analytics as well. So as you can see here, multiple different devices, it is mobile friendly, tablet friendly, laptop friendly. So you can really make sure that it looks proper on all the different types of devices uh, as well as you can see is, you know, mobile responsive, which is super important. Uh, you know, personalization, you can customize things exactly how you want it. So yeah, that's the overview for PageFly as you can see here. Now, when it comes down to pricing, they have a variety of different pricing plans. Now, for most people, you know, you can at least get started and try it out on their free plan for PageFly to get set up. 
and just to give them a test and give them a shot and see if you like them, which I would obviously encourage because it's free to do so. So yeah, you can go ahead and do that as well as they do have additional paid plans uh, that are as follows here with uh, pay as you go, as well as enterprise level. If you are at a higher uh, level, more scaled online store, then maybe that makes sense for you. Uh, realistically, this just uh, adds into your additional publishing slots so that you can publish more uh, custom pages uh, within your publishing slot. So that's really what the paid plans allow you to do is to just scale up the amount of flexibility and customization that you have within your PageFly app and in your Shopify store. Now, taking a look in the Shopify dashboard that's we're going to dive into now. So this is a, a test store for tutorials. So as you can see here, this is probably what your Shopify store may look like. So in order to install the PageFly app, you can either do that by clicking the first link down in the description box below, of course, and you can click on add the app there that uh link in the in the description will take you right over to this page here and then you all you have to do is click add app so that's uh one way you could do it you know if you don't already have it installed now if you do already have it installed the not the what you, the way you're going to get to it is once you've clicked the add app button um, either through my link or you've already done this on your store all you do is click up here to search and then you can click apps and then what you do is you click on pagefly uh, to go ahead and that will take you over to PageFly's specific dashboard over here. So this is what the dashboard looks like. This is more the tutorial section of the video um, showing you kind of what the, the back end of PageFly looks like. So all you have to do then to go ahead and create a page is all you have to do is go over here and click on publishing. So as you can see, those are the publishing slots. Um, this is a development test store, so all you have to do is then click on Pages. Now, of course, you do have additional integrations and PageFly add-ons that you can add as well and specific sections. Uh, oh, showing you the analytics as well real quick here. Of course, there's not no data in here, but that's showing you kind of what the sections would look like if you did have data in here. Uh, so going over to Pages, if you want to get started and build out your own landing page, all you have to do is click over to Pages, right? Then you can select between regular pages, home pages, product pages, collection pages, blog post page, password pages, and thank you pages. So you do have a lot of flexibility as far as what types of pages that you want to actually edit. Now, most people watching today's video probably are interested in creating a either a landing page or a product page. We're gonna start with a traditional landing page and then we'll get into product pages in a little bit here. So creating out a landing page could be good for optimizing, getting email signups. Maybe you just wanna have a really nice landing page that you send people from, maybe from email newsletters, from social media, maybe from your Instagram page or TikTok or anywhere. You just want to send people to a very highly optimized page specifically to promote your store or to promote your products. And that's what a landing page is great for, right? Helps with your sales and promotion and really best representing your company and your e-commerce store. So as you can see here, they do have a couple options. You can either create it from a blank. They can uh, build your page specifically if you have some sort of design in mind, or you can just create from a template. Now creating from a template, that's what I personally love because it gives you something to work with. So you can start from scratch as well if you uh, want to do that. Now starting with a template, as you can see here, they do have a bunch of different templates laid out specifically. Maybe if you're doing a Black Friday sale, this one could make a ton of sense for you. Uh, so you can lay out like all your Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. You can create a specific landing page for that. Um, that you could promote on your channels, various traffic channels. You also have, uh, I guess they call this like a singles day, I guess a single celebration. You have a teaser, uh, you have a, um, a Halloween page, you have like Halloween sale. So maybe if you're doing a specific sale, could make a ton of sense for you to use PageFly just to promote a specific sale that you're doing. You have vivid options, uh, crunchy, uh, really the, the list goes on and on here as you can see with the uh, page five templates. Now you can also sort by, you know, what's used. So who you like, what's the most used template. So as you can see here, you have a uh, tech one, Adam, uh, this is, these are obviously used on a bunch of, uh, people's stores. So you can see like what's most used. So maybe if you want to use something that's just more popular, uh, then you go with a template that a lot of people are using. Now it looks to me like this one at least is more or less just a product page template than a general landing page template. So, you know, feel free to filter through all these different templates yourself as far as, uh, you know, landing page specific ones for sales maybe. 
uh, or even just the product page specific ones as well. So I guess that kind of more or less covers the landing pages, at least is what you could uh, you know expect within specific landing pages, maybe for a specific deal, discount, or offer that you're promoting at the time. And then going into product pages, we'll take a look at the most popular uh, template. So you could click on preview uh, so you can preview it for yourself and kind of scroll through and be like, okay, well, this is a good looking electric toothbrush. Uh, you know, product features, you can list things out, have a tutorial video. This is really good if you are, you know, promoting something on social media and you want something super versatile, uh, then this could be a good uh, page to, to send your traffic to or direct your traffic to. Uh, of course, that's that one there. So we're going to go ahead and all you have to do is click select template. And then this will take you to the PageFly template editor where you have a ton of flexibility as far as you know, how you want your product to look like. Now, as you can see here, if you're doing a product specific page, you will have to select that from your products. So you do need to make sure that you have these products already in your Shopify store uh, before you go ahead and build out like a page fly a page for it. Uh, you do want to just make sure you, you already have that product created, of course. And then you can go through here, add your images, add your text, you know, specific headings, you know, you can even add little icons as well. I mean, really the, the list goes on and on as far as how you want to build out your pages. You can kind of drag things around, um, you know, make things a certain sizing. Uh, you know, you can easily just, you could also just take a template and just sub out the images and you don't even have to move things around. You could just type in, okay, product feature two, uh, let's say, you know, good, good toothbrush <laughs> or something like that, right? You know, you could you can type whatever you want as far as that. You could just edit the template. Uh, you can click in and add your video here. Uh, if you have a product video, product functions, uh, competitive advantage, maybe what's better about your specific product. You can even even easily add in gifts or other type of content that you want to promote on the page. This just gives you more flexibility than maybe a traditional Shopify page that's more formulaic. Um, if you're building things out that way, this just gives you tons of different flexibility and building out, you know, your product pages, how you want them to look like, especially if you're promoting something on social media. Now you can also add Shopify elements. So as you can see here, you can still add in, you know, the traditional Shopify elements that Shopify has, uh, for your, for your site and for your page. Now it's important, you do wanna make sure your product details are there so people can actually check out and buy through your store. Uh, you wanna make sure you at least have the product, if you're doing a product focus page, at least have the product details or product list or something in there. Um, or even like the add to cart button or something that is product focused so you can actually still convert, of course, in your Shopify store. You don't want to make the mistake of just building a fancy page that no one can check out on. So in order to keep the Shopify functionality, you do have to make sure that you incorporate those details. Uh, of course, then all you have to do cl is click save. You know, we'll just save it as untitled. Uh, da, da, da. You know, you know, make sure you check the page preview and the live page based on your theme styling. You know, it's something to keep in mind there. And then you could just click got it, right? And then that will save your template. Uh, you can also, I guess, enable auto save, which is nice. So if you want to enable auto save, you can go ahead and do that. Um, but you can see the, the different variations of the page, you know, you can click preview. So here, of course, it's not going to show up because this is a protected store. So I don't have anything live on the site, but all you'd have to do is then click this little preview button and it will take you over to your page. Now you can also preview things, you know, from laptop tablet mode and make sure things are looking correct. Uh, on different devices, especially on laptop and mobile. Those are probably just the two most popular places people are going to be viewing your product pages. So make sure, especially on mobile, that things are looking right. Things are, you know, functioning how you would expect them to. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I mean, you could really, you know, change the styling, change all the padding, the margin. You really can get into the nitty gritty details of everything that you may want to customize with your page. Now, one of the strongest things, of course, is the templates. So uh, taking a look at the templates again, all you have to do is then create from template. You know, you could easily select a contact page and edit from there. You could easily select a homepage even and edit from there. 
or, or just a specific landing page. So of course, it's up to you to decide, you know, what templates make sense for you and your e-commerce site. But really, that is the basis and overview <laughs> of PageFly. Like this is all of what you get. You get do get a lot of things here uh, with, with PageFly, especially all these templates as well. Of course, if you wanna publish more pages, then, you know, of course, those publishable slots are what you would pay for within their pricing breakdown. Uh, as I had mentioned before, but yeah, I would definitely give PageFly a shot. Definitely go ahead and check them out. They are just super popular, really one of the best landing page builders for Shopify, Shopify to improve your conversion rates and customize and add more flexibility to your product pages and your landing pages within your Shopify store and really building out that store design and improving your marketing and conversion exactly how you want it when you're doing those special promotions, right? So that's what PageFly is best for. Definitely would recommend giving them a shot and checking them out for your Shopify store. I do wanna mention, of course, that first link down in the description box below will take you right over to PageFly so you can get started with PageFly today, as well as that second link will take you over to Shopify if you don't already have a Shopify store. Of course, that's brandvaleski.com forward slash Shopify will take you right over to your Shopify free trial. Uh, and of course, with PageFly, that's brandvaleski.com forward slash PageFly will take you right over to the Shopify app store to install PageFly. So guys, I hope you found this video, this review and tutorial of PageFly helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Guys, that is all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.